Ireland's only cable car isn't for the faint-hearted. Passengers to Dursey Island are suspended 250 metres above the Atlantic Ocean. Sometimes they feel they need a bit of luck. Here we have our, our, our little bottle of holy water for luck and our, our good luck charm here, I suppose. It's kept us going for the last 50, 60 odd years. Kept, kept luck with us. But now the cable car has closed for much needed repairs, shutting off the lifeline for at least nine months. Dursey Island is at the very southwest tip of Ireland, jutting out into the Atlantic. The strong tides make regular ferries impossible, so it's been connected by a cable car since 1969. While it's not supposed to take sheep anymore, the two permanent residents and the eight farmers do use it every day. When we arrived, they were worried and angry. I mean, our entire way of life and making a living has been on, on the cusp of being taken from us. I mean, we're on the eve of closure now and look, I mean, what, what, what can I say? It's shocking. But while we were filming, we got a phone call from a government source in Dublin. At the last minute, a replacement ferry would now be funded and we were able to give the news to Joe. So is this a good day then? It is, it is. It's a much better evening than it was morning anyway, that's for sure. You said you hadn't been sleeping with the worry. No, I have not, no, no. I mean, the devil is going to be the detail. I mean, if we do push on and if a ferry and money's for a ferry are granted, that will be fantastic. It seemed a solution had been found at the last moment, but people who often feel marginalised by authorities were still unhappy at how the saga had unfolded. What's your take on the situation? Well, my take on it is nobody has a problem with it closing down. Everybody knows the towers need to be replaced, but it's the way they've gone about things. I mean, there should have been... There had to be a prior notice that this was going to happen. There aren't many votes on Dursey, we were told. But there are real people and real lives. And they're waiting to hear how they'll be reconnected while their iconic cable car is gone. Stephen Murphy, Sky News, on Dursey Island.